Cheyenne. Boy, and I'll get you out. Kind of had you in a tough spot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can't bring him back, old boy. You'd better come with me. Come on. Come on. That's a boy. We are going to be pals. Come on. Howdy, Bill. Hello, Tex. Are you the only survivor of this outfit? No, Bill. I wasn't traveling with the train. This little fella here is the only survivor. Cheyenne's, eh? Yep. It looks like Howling Wolf is on the warpath again. Sure does. And the old devil signed the peace treaty barely a month ago. <laughs> Just another problem for Buffalo Bill to uncoil. Better come and help me, Tex. We'll drop by Fort Stanton. You know, Captain Taylor thinks Tex Houston's the greatest Indian scout this side of the Pecos. I wish I could, but I'm due in Plainsville before noon, May 1st. You better start making tracks. And don't let the Cheyennes lift that long, nice hair of yours. <laughs> <laughs> so long, Bill. Good luck, Tex. for the help. I'm done for. Oh, come on, partner. Brace up. It takes more than an Indian arrow to down a Pony Express rider. I, I know. The mail. It's got to get through. Take it, will you? Right sudden. Say, that's a good name for you. Sudden. <laughs> It will be, Mr. Hawkins. I got a seat and about more grub and supplies I need. Better tend to it right away, then. We ought to pull out of here in the morning. Don't worry. I'll be ready. Uh, 
What is it? Would you mind coming here a minute, sir? All right. What is it, Grant? Hank Johnson here is going with the wagon train tomorrow, and he needs some more supplies, and his money's run out. No credit. But, Mr. Eatman, as soon as I get the car. I told you no I'll... credit. Good day, sir. You know the rules, Grant. Why do you waste my time? But the poor fellow's short of food supplies, and I thought... I'll do the thinking around here. You worry about your own troubles. You know what day this is? It's the 1st of May, almost noon. The deadline for you to pay back that $3,000 you stole from me a year ago. Mr. Eaton, you know I didn't steal that money. Sure, your son Tom might have done it. In fact, he wrote a confession saying he stole the money and then left town hoping to save you by pinning the crime on himself. The shortage is still on your books, and unless you make good by 12 o'clock, you go to prison. But, Mr. Eaton, how can I make it good? There just isn't any way. That's where you're wrong, Grant. There is a way. I told you before, I'm not going to force my daughter to marry against her will. Well, speaking of angels, your father and I were just talking about you, Mary. He suggests that you and I won't you come into my office? We'll have a little talk. Do you mind if I have a little talk with Daddy first? Why, certainly not. Just thanks, child. But there's nothing you can do. There is something I can do, and I'm going to do it. No, Mary. But, Dad, he'll put you in prison. Well, I wouldn't mind that so much if Tom was here to look after you. I can't understand why we haven't heard from him in all these months, especially when he knows the circumstances. Tom's sister. 
I've heard a lot about you. Well, I, I've got that letter here somewhere. Well, anyway, here's, here's a sack full of gold nuggets he sent you. You see, Mr. Eaton, we Grants keep our word. So you're Bart Eaton? That's my name, stranger. Why, well, this isn't gold. Gold, eh? <laughs> Nothing but a handful of worthless rocks that don't even show a color. The letter's gone, too. Somebody's rifled my saddlebag. That's a likely story. Mr. Grant, before I left Gold Creek, your son put $5,000 worth of gold nuggets in that sack. Enough for you to pay off Eaton and bring you and your daughter out west. You expect us to believe that? There never was any gold. Then why did Mr. Houston come here at all, saying he's a friend of Tom's? To stall for time. The whole story's a put-up job between this fella and that crooked brother of yours. Why, you... <laughs> Here. Throw that man in jail, Ed. I charge him with assault and battery. Come along with me, stranger. Just a minute, Marshal. He was only standing up for my brother, Tom. Never mind, Miss Grant. I'll be back shortly, Grant, for a showdown with you. The Express Riders a pretty tough customer, eh, Eden? I've got him where he won't bother us anymore. Well, Grant, your son's bluff didn't work. Have you made up your mind what you're going to do about it? Get it over, send me to prison. Haven't you anything to suggest, Mary? Hey, the wagon train's pulling out. Thought they weren't leaving till tomorrow. They're hitting the trail for Gold Creek. That stranger's talk of the gold strike has sure stampeded them. How about it, Mary? Are you ready to marry me? I'll give you my answers this time tomorrow. Very well. This time tomorrow. I found a note from Mary saying she was going to spend the night with friends. She should be here right now to give me her answer. Oh, Mr. Eaton. Yes? Mary Grant asked me to give you this. Where is she? I don't know where she is now. She gave me that yesterday. Thank you. Spent the night with friends, eh? Ran away with the wagon train, you mean? She's not running away. She's gone to find her brother. That won't save you this time. You're going to prison. Sutton. I knew you'd find me, old boy. I bet you looked all over town for me. <laughs> well, I've been kind of worried about you. <coughs> Shh, there's someone coming. Now's your chance to sneak in. by now. That's just it. She's not. Eaton's gone after her. What? We've got to get out of here. Get out? How can we without help? I've got it. Sudden. Come here, boy. Sudden, old boy. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Where, where have you been? Where have you been, huh? Glad to see you. See those keys up there? I want you to jump up there and get them. 
jump high and bring him back to me. Sorry. That's the boy. Now bring him here. Thank you, Bell. That's a nice boy. What is it, Tex? Indian smoke signals. Can you read them? They are going to attack the wagon train. Come on, we've got to warn them. Enjoy your trip? For Mr. Reed. Surprised to see me, eh? Oh, you'll see a lot of me before we get to California. You mean you're riding with the wagon train? Yes. A lot of these freight wagons belong to me. Besides, that isn't the only interest I have in this train. See you later. Get up! We haven't got time for that. Our only chance is to head for the river. If we haven't got time to get across, at least they can't surround us. What well, takes here is an Indian fighter, Hawkins. All right, Houston, take command. Head for the river. Oh, right oh, to the river. Get out. Get out. Get out. Thank you. 